this is just a, a, a update rant like I don't even know um so that happened and that happened and then um I booked my first consult for top surgery I wish I could just like insert like cheering, but that means then I'd have to edit the video and I don't feel like doing that. So there's that. Um, so yeah, so I made, I uh, book I, in a month, I think not even a month, maybe like, like three weeks from now, I have my console for top surgery. So basically here's the gist. Most insurances don't cover it. Some do, um, but it, to do it, it's like the process of, um, you know, being in gender therapy and getting a referral and, blah 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 which was never anything I wanted to do I just don't find the joy in having to go see a gender therapist or therapist in general and being like um yeah I feel this way I feel this way I feel this way and have them diagnose me when it's like first of all I don't need you to tell me what I want seven it's like my body so if I want like whatever I want if I want you to attach another fucking arm to me then like if I'm gonna pay for it then give it to me I shouldn't have to go through the process if you will in order to get the surgeries that I want I've just never been a fan of it it, it takes time it takes money now granted there is a huge price cost associated with top surgery depending on where you're going and if it's covered or if it's not covered whatever you can range from you know four grand to 13 grand whatever it is so that's been what i've researched what i've seen what i've heard many many years now however now i'm at a place in my life financially where i don't give fucks so i'm about to like walk up in there and be like boom here's a stack of doll hairs give me top surgery and if you're not gonna do it I'm gonna go to the next dude like that's it um but you know the uh, secretary and stuff she was like oh we have like luck with um your insurance company and the, the insurance I have and and getting this covered but she definitely thinks that I'm coming in with a background in gender therapy and probably a referral letter shouldn't be that big of a problem. That's how I think that they think. And the reason is, is because when I filled out all the stuff for my console, I, I literally put, you know, FTM double incision. Like I know exactly what I'm gonna need. I, I just know. So when you are preemptive like that, they're autumn, like you can't help but assume that that's what they assume, that you come in making this decision based upon the fact that you've gone through this process. I am not gonna go to gender therapy because I don't fucking want to. And I don't need to, I don't need to. So I have a consult in like three weeks. I'll find out then like, how much it costs basically um so yeah I, I i i have a feeling it's gonna be around the 10 grand range which is fine i guess whatever um but to me it's like i don't know do i go find a gender therapist go pay copay 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 to get a letter to then go and to that you know like i just i like, don't want to i just like don't i want to go in be like boom 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 and walk the fuck out like like no questions asked it's no fucking different than some someone going into a plastic surgeon and being like hey i want a nose job or some chick going in and be like hey i want implants like you're not questioned you're making a choice about your body the end like i shouldn't have to go through extra steps so i have accepted since the time I even registered that I wanted top surgery, which is many moons ago, that I would be paying out of pocket. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't really know anything about the surgeon. I just, he's in the tri-state region, but I'll like make another video. And if everything goes well, and if it's all the money, everything, if everything goes how I want it, um, I'll, I'm gonna aim to try and get it at the end of the year when like work is like slow and you know, I don't, I'm not like required to like be present in the office. I mean, I could take a vacation, but you know, I just, I would rather do it when it's slow. People aren't expecting me and that kind of thing. So that's that. Um, <laughs> And what else? Um, Pride Month, the New York City Pride was last this past weekend. I did not go. I don't like parades. Um, but yeah, a lot of my, uh, a lot of friends I know, I, I have, and a lot of people I know went, and they had a good time. Um, I just fucking don't like parades, and I'm. <sighs> I don't even want to get into relationships right now. I just like can't do it. But I'm I'm been upset about my ex because my ex's parents 
Again, I made videos on this before, many months ago. My ex's parents, like, my ex is 27. She's 20 fucking seven. She lives in her parents' house, which no shame to that. I mean, I did the same thing, but they are so very much against her being with me and it's caused so many fucking problems. So we parted ways for reasons that had to do with that and other fucking reasons. But like, that was like a, an, a thing, but she's like coming back and she's just like, nah, I don't know, like, I wanna be with you, where, 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 words. And I'm just like, yo, like if you, like, I respect that, like, a family won't accept you. I get that. I, I don't understand it because I've never had to go through it, but, like, I get it. Um, but if you don't have the, you know, the testicular fortitude to handle your fucking family, and if you don't want to lose your family, leave your whatever it is, like, that's on you. That's your choice. That's, that's your fucking journey. I can only do so much, and that's what I've done in the past was be supportive, be around, get kicked to the curb, you know, like, all this shit at the expense of, like, my own emotional well-being. So when things ended, they ended, but now, you know, I got this drama where it's just like, you know, I, uh, it's just like a pain. So it's like sucking the life out of me. Um... So yeah, there's that. Um, but otherwise, you know, work is good. Um, this year was great for work. Um, I've gotten three raises this year. I'm pretty sure three raises this year. I'm basically making like, I am, yeah, no. I'm definitely making like $20,000 $20, more than I was like a year ago, which makes me sad because I clearly suck at negotiations right but yeah i mean work is good personal life good minus relationship drama um which i'm not in one so just fucking blah. um money's good works good like i'm having it's summer like everything else is good it's just i think i'm just in a mood today i don't know and i'm just anxious to like i don't know i i'm, I'm anxious to just get to tomorrow Sometimes it's one of those days, and this is one of those days, I don't know. But yeah, hope everybody had a fantastic week, weekend. I don't know since the last time I talked to you. I'm going into, um, you know, it's gonna be July 4th next week, and if you don't know, my mom passed away on July 4th, and now it's gonna be, geez, it's gonna be seven years ago on July 4th which sucks, it's never a fun time. Maybe that's why I'm, I'm not feeling great these days, I don't know. But yeah, um, I hope everyone has a safe holiday. And um, that's all I gotta say. The updates and the wonderments, that is Wedge. Follow me on Instagram because that's where I put up the greatest stuff ever, like, like my dog Jet. <laughs> and that's all I gotta say. We're done.